Hello and welcome to the 15th in my series, Proverbially Speaking, which are reflections on verses from the book of Proverbs. If you enjoy this, please consider hitting the like button at the bottom. And if you haven't already, consider also to subscribe to the Northfield Church of Christ's YouTube page, and you'll be able to see others in my series, as well as our Sunday morning worship service, our Sunday morning Bible study, and a Sunday evening service with our pastor, Mark, where he'll give you another lesson and also some songs. So let me begin, as I normally do, with a prayer. Our loving and kind Father, I thank you for your patience and the grace that you bestow upon your children. Bless me now that my thoughts may be pleasing and acceptable to you. It is in your name that I pray. Amen. Okay, well, today I want to look at a few verses from the book of Proverbs, chapter 15, verses 16 and 17, and also verses 33. And they read, Better a little with the fear of the Lord than great wealth with turmoil. Better a small serving of vegetables with love than a fattened calf with hatred. Wisdom's instruction is to fear the Lord, and humility comes before honor. So what comes to your mind when asked to fear the Lord? This is something that troubled me for a long time. How does fearing help you to love? How do we reconcile a God who is love with a God who has to be feared? Fear is an emotion we a lot of times take very negatively. Fear is bad. There was a saying some years ago that went around in advertising and it said in two words, no fear. It was considered bad to have fear, and still in some ways it is considered bad. But what does fear do? It teaches us caution. It shows us there is something of great power that we must respect. I remember my son as a small toddler. He had no trepidation about climbing the tall ladder of the slide, yet he climbed cautiously. At the same playground, was another child, one who we might consider fearless. Mom had to hover over him because he would plunge headlong along the playground equipment, and a couple times she had to scoop him up before he crashed headlong into danger. Fear serves a purpose. It is not bad. What is bad is not to have any fear. Otherwise, we plunge headlong into great harm. Having proper fear, we have proper respect. We understand that we are not all powerful and we take caution to listen, to learn, to grow more wise and be humble that we are not invincible and all powerful. That is God's domain. Take your small serving of vegetables, be humble and show honor to God. Wisdom begins there. I thank you, and I hope that some of these thoughts triggered thoughts in you, and I hope uh, that you will pray on these ideas into this uh, coming week. Thank you for watching.